Again today, today, Tuesday, 16 June 2020. Uh, we have mathematics, as you know. Our uh, perimeter of circles continue. Now, example one. We have find the circumference of each of this circle. Find the circumference of each circle. Uh, the question says you use pi to be what? 22 over 7. Now let's start, let's start with the first question. Say solution. Alright. Okay, now this is a circle as you can see. The circle should find a circumference. What is the formula for finding circumference? We say C, isn't it? But if you look at this diagram, you see the line. Can you see that? So this long line is what? Yeah, it is diameter. Diameter is what? 21 centimeters. So since it is diameter that is given to us, the formula we use anytime we are given diameter is what? Pi d for circumference. Say pi d, and you know pi is equal to what? I mean, is equal to what? Pi times what? D. So you say 22 over 7 according to the instruction times what? What's our diameter in this? You have what? 21 centimeter. That's 21 over 1. So you say 7 year 1, 7 year 3. Then that means what you now have is what? 22 times what? 22 times what? 3. So that will give you 66 centimeter. You don't put square because it is circumference we are looking for. Now, the second example, as you can see, look at this shape. What do you think is this? Yeah, I told you last week that this is a circle, as you can see. I told you a straight line that divides the circle into two is diameter. But when the line starts from the, from the middle, like this, is what? Radius. So diameter consists of two radius. If you join another one, you have another radius. But what we're having here is just one radius. So you have a radius here. Are you there? Okay. So this is radius. And instead you should find what? Uh, circumference. You cannot use the formula that we use for this as pi d because this one is not is not diameter. This is radius. So you don't use pi d. The formula you are going to use is 2 pi r. Is that okay? So you are either given diameter or radius and since you are given radius here you use this formula so this is the same thing as 2 times pi times r now how do you use this r now let's come here you have what 2 times what they say we should use for our pi 22 over 7 isn't it yes so you have 22 over 7 times what now this radius this radius is what 2.8 is that taken so you continue here you say 2 times 22 over sorry 22 over 7 okay times now this 2.8 you can change it to fraction if you have 2.8 it's the same thing as 28 28 over 10 how did i get that let me explain it to you now this is 2.8 isn't it just ignore the point don't write the point just write your 28 on top is that taking put your line now you now count how many number after the decimal point you have only one number isn't it so that means you divide it by 10. For another example, if you have something like this, 2.87, are you there? Just write 287 on top, just like this. So just write 287 on top. So then you put a line. Now now look at how many number after decimal point. That's two. So you divide by 100. Is that taken? If it is three number, 2878, 2.87, just write that same number, 2878, put over how many number after decimal point? One, two, three. So you divide by one thousand. That is it. But for this one, it is just two point eight. How many number after decimal point? One. So just write your twenty-eight on over what? How many number after decimal point? One. So you write just this ten. So because it's just one number after decimal point. So then you continue. Seven year one. Seven in twenty-eight is four. Is that taking? So you can say two year one. Don't forget this is over one. Two year one. Two in ten is five. So what you are having is 1 times 22 times 4 all over 1 times 1 times 1 times 5. Is that taken? So you can now, 20, that's 1 times 22, 22. 22 times 4 will give you 88. 1 times 1, that's over. 1 times 1, 1 times 5. So you have 5. Now you can now get your final answer. 5 in 8 is 1, remainder 3. 5 in 38, 7, remainder 1. Remainder three. three. So that is can five go in this? No. 
Are you there? Are you close to this place? Okay. Can five go in three? No. So put your points as zero. It has become 30 now. Five in 30. So you have six. So what you now have, what is our unit? Don't forget this place is centimeter. So your unit will now be in centimeter. Six is set. So that's your final answer. Don't put square because it's circumference.